Well, we just learned an Oklahoma judge ruled against Johnson & Johnson in a multi-billion dollar lawsuit for spreading misinformation to doctors and the public in the marketing of potential painkillers. Casey Stiegel has more. Casey. Yeah, Charles, we have been watching this as it's been breaking this afternoon. Analysts say that this is really a landmark case because it now sets legal precedent for thousands of other pending cases that have already been filed from other municipalities, other governments against other opioid manufacturers and distributors. So this afternoon, this particular case, the state of Oklahoma versus Johnson & Johnson, well, it was the first one to go to trial. And just moments ago, this is what the judge read from the bench. Listen. The opioid crisis is an imminent danger and menace to Oklahomans. My judgment includes findings of fact and conclusions of law that the state met its burden that the defendants, Janssen and Johnson & Johnson's misleading marketing and promotion of opioids created a nuisance as defined by 50 OS Section 1, including a finding that those actions compromised the health and safety of thousands of Oklahomans. So again, that was just moments ago up in Norman, Oklahoma. This is very, uh, a very substantial uh, ruling because again, the state had accused Johnson & Johnson uh, of using these deceptive marketing uh, practices and pushing doctors to prescribe more opioids while telling patients the, that the drugs were safe, all while downplaying how addictive these prescription painkillers were. Lawyers for Johnson & Johnson argued that the drug company did did not at all cause the opioid crisis, saying that the company followed the FDA's own guidelines back in 2009 regarding that drug classification and how it is marketed. So again, a major ruling up in Oklahoma today. No word yet on whether Johnson & Johnson will appeal this ruling. We are expecting to hear from both sides outside the courtroom shortly. Charles, we'll stay on top of it for you.